we have here is angle line. Uh, we see that a lot where I work. They cover the locks. We usually don't see it this small though. This small means I'm just going to work above it and ignore it. Above it or below it. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to force the door with, with angle iron on it. And uh, it's for security reasons. In my area, we run into this a lot on an opening in metal jam, metal jam, uh, metal door. What they are is they're just uh, pieces of steel that they run sometimes just over this small locking area. If they run it just over the small locking area, we'll just work above it or below it. A lot of times now, they'll run it a good area away, um, covering the locks, far from the locks. In that case, you gotta attack it. Sometimes they run it the whole length of the door, and you have to attack it. And it's, when you see how we do it, you're gonna realize it's not as hard as you think, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do is, we approach the door, if this is too tight, what I want to do is, the objective is I want to drive this fork to the door between the angle line and the stop. Once I hit the door, I'm going to then bend and steer this, the fork to go around the jam, just the way we, we forced before. Okay? The thing is to get this fork to the door and then steer it around. Now, sometimes this is very tight, and I also want to work between the rivets if I can. Near lock because there's more play in the angle line between the rivets than it would be next to a rivet, okay? But if I think this is too tight and he's banging away and I'm not going to be able to penetrate here because I'm right, it's right up against the stock, then we're going we're gonna to do another method. We're going to bring the axe blade in, which is a lot sharper than the tips, and he can steer it just right. And what I'll do is I'll drive this in, which I'm going to do now. We'll bend it a little bit. And we'll just show you instead of talking about it. Ready, Danny? Yep. Until I hit the door. Then I give it pull, pull. It should give me enough play. Okay? He takes it out. He can even drop this over the, the axe and bend it a little bit out. Now look at all the play it gives me. Start here, Danny. Hit me into the door there. He's ready to hit. Ready? Hit. 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 Okay. Once I hit the door, stop. Because what you can do here, the mistake is the door is soft. It's not this corner of steel. The real door is soft. If he keeps driving me in, he's going to drive me into the edge of the door. We don't want to do that. I can visually see when the tips hit the door itself. Once the tips hit the door, I'm going to bend it over. So now I'm going to be driving in towards to the jam. Okay? So I give him a little bend. I say, okay, Danny, hit. Again, now I'm pulling towards me to get it past that jam and not bury into the jam. Ready? Hit. 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 Drive it. Stop. Okay. Turn around. He's he stopped hitting. Now when I go to the door, this is actually gonna help me. It's actually gonna be my friend here. It's gonna, it's almost like throwing the action for extra leverage. The only thing I find is you got a lot more pressure on the initial pull. You may need somebody's help with it. Uh, I'll try and do it myself, all right? Then stand by. Ready? <clears throat> oh, give me a hand, Dan. <laughs> Not as strong as this should be. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. Now look at it. Look at the spread it gave me. Look at the spread it gave me. This is basically the spread here. Okay, not where the angle line is. This is basically jam, door. And if anything's holding you that far out, it's got to be a bar. David will drive this one off, right? Put this on it. If that's what I see, if that's visual, it's like a bar. We're going to drive it right off. All right, you ready to hit? Yep. Hit! Hit! Sometimes the angle line is rare. The angle line sometimes is attached to the, uh, to the door jam, all right, to the stop. Okay? If it, again, if it's this short, just work above or below it. Right? If it's here and it's attached to the this, to this stop, we're going to go in with the ad zen just like we gap a normal door. We're going to get in behind the angle line and then in behind the stop and gap this door. Okay? If it's tough for me to do, I'll have my cam in, tap me in, tap me in, Danny, until I hit the stop. Until I hit the stop. Okay? Now, 
Okay, once I hit the jam, I'm actually in behind the door stop and the angle line. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna hold it in here, and I'm gonna come down full, crack the lock, see what's holding, okay? Now, I'm gonna draw back, and for this, I like to do bevel to jam. It's easier for me to steer it around. If I come in here, when I get around this angle, if I come bevel to door, it seems like you have more of a chance of burying into the jam. If it works for you, by all means do it. I'm gonna do bevel, bevel to jam, okay? Ready, Daniel, hit? Hit. Ready, hit. spread but we go from there. I pop that lock, okay, have Danny hold for me. Now I have the option. I could flip the tool, put it in here, and get more push to the door. I'm just gonna turn around, put my ads in, slide of course where it would be tight because the door would be coming back because another lock is holding. And I can crush down, Danny can pull that out. I crush down, get the lock, and then clear. 